So what the ARCH model is, is it's a statistical model that predicts risk that's very useful in financial markets. But the Volatility Laboratory is a website which is publicly available. You can look at it on your telephone and it uh, updates estimates of risks that are in the financial markets every day. So when markets close around the world, we gather the data at the closing prices, we calculate forecasts of what the volatilities and correlations and other kinds of risks might be in the next day and, uh, and publish them on the website. In addition, we have developed these methods which we call systemic risk measures. We calculate estimates of where the financial sector is weak and might lead to a future financial crisis. And these are changing over time. So we can watch and see where the risks are building up. As a finance department, we have a relatively small PhD program. And, uh, but students that I supervise typically are involved with, uh, with VLAB and either will help out on doing uh, some kind of uh, analysis or help, help the staff with the econometrics because they're, of course, more expert than, than the people that are really running, doing the coding. And uh, then we put the best of this work onto the website. Well, the, the economic forces that make financial crises happen are still in place. And they, uh, it's really an economic result of uh, the fact that a lot of market participants, bankers or traders and so forth, take a lot of risk because you get rewarded for taking risk in, in finance. And the question is whether they're taking more risk than would be socially optimal. If the failure ends up being, being transmitted to the rest of the economy, then we all pay for the uh, downside of the banking sector. And so that's why one of the results of the financial crisis is increased regulation. Most of Europe is experiencing low volatility. And I think one of the explanations for that is that Europe has been struggling to recover from its pair of financial crises. And I think that growth has returned to most of Europe and the ECB is considering cutting back its, its stimulus package because it looks like there is enough growth. Brexit is still uncertain, but it looks like it may not turn out so terribly. And so I think that, that there is a sort of an optimism about the future of Europe, which is better than it has been for several years. And I think that's kind of where the, the calm comes in the financial markets.